I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. And to a specific demographic of people, my South Africans, hey, my brothers and sisters from another mother. What's up? Uh -uh. Hey, where did you find me, please? Though? Because funny enough, me, I didn't even know that anything was happening. I didn't know that apparently I was going viral. Like, I, I didn't know because in that account, to be honest, you barely even use your phone. So, even all the ones that they were saying people were bullying me, I don't even see one message that you don't even come concern me. But, like, thank you so much to the South Africans and every other African country that supported me on this journey. Like, God bless you. God bless all of you. Please <laughs> fly me to South Africa now. <laughs> but thank you so much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like, your money was not wasted. It definitely did something. And God bless you all for doing that. Like, I'm eternally grateful. Thank you so much. Bye. Yes, and Monan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now we love us, uh, Miss Kwara Hani, wishing her all the best in her future. Now, South Africa has denied visas to um, Nigeria's national under 18 basketball team, preventing them from participating in the 2024 FIBA under 18 Afro Basket tournament set to take place in Cape Town from December 14 to 22. The South African consulate in Abuja denied the male players' visas. The vice chairman of Nigeria Basketball Federation, Ogo Udze, confirmed the development in a statement on Tuesday, expressing frustrations over the lack of explanation. Udze described the move as a form of sabotage. Now, this is between the South African government and the Nigerian government. We don't know what's happening there. We don't know why they deny them visa, but obviously there must be a sound reason as to why they were denied visa. Now, this um, these boys are not the first people to be denied a visa. There's this Nigerian musician, most of you guys must be familiar with her, or Ira Star. Okay, she had to cancel her show in South Africa after being denied a visa into the country, according to the organizers. Who Ira Star and her team were denied visas after several failed attempts to secure them. Okay, I don't know the reason, I don't know the reason why they were denied visas. If the government is denying you visa, honey, I don't know. Is there war between South African government and Nigerian government? I don't know. All I know is that Seychelles also banned Nigerian tourists um, from visiting their country. Seychelles has banned Nigerians from visiting the country, and here's why. The government of Seychelles has announced a ban on Nigerian passport holders who wish to visit the country for tourism purposes. Previously, Nigeria enjoyed a visa-free agreement with Seychelles, allowing its citizens to enter the country without a visa for up to 30 days. The ban has been attributed to an increase in fraudulent activities involving Nigerians. However, Seychelles will still allow Nigerians with diplomatic passports, valid work permits or residence permits issued by the country to visit. The decision was prompted by instances of Nigerians claiming to be on holiday but staying for only a day or two, indicating suspicious behavior. Several cases of Nigerians involved in trafficking, credit card fraud, and online scams have been reported in Seychelles. The government aims to protect its border control and economy by curbing these criminal activities. The Nigerian ambassador to Seychelles is set to meet with Seychelles Minister of Foreign Affairs and Tourism to discuss the matter. What do you think about this ban? I mean, what I think, my sister, is that, you know, um, Seychelles is just jealous, you know, of the giants of Africa. They just jealous. It's not about the criminal activities. I think they just jealous. Mm, I think they also xenophobic because why black on black hate? I mean, how dare they? Now, I dare Nigerians to do a small Anyana introspection. I know most of them will fail. Um, in all of this, they will find someone to blame. You know, they will fail to hold each other accountable for the crimes they commit in other people's land, failing to respect other people's land. As a visitor, you should always respect the person accommodating you, but they fail, you know, if criminals in your country leave your country to commit fraud or crimes in any other countries and you guys come here on this Beyonce internet and you say, yeah, 
Ah, it's jealous, it's this, it's that. Honestly speaking, we, we can't always be having the same argument. Hold each other accountable, man, and stop blaming and looking for someone to blame. Hold each other accountable for the crimes you commit in other people's countries. If you go to someone's house, respect the rules. You know, follow the law. It's, it's that easy. Take that as a warning. Do introspection. When other African countries start burning you guys, and I know some of you will say, we don't care. You should care because millions of people of your people uh, let me talk for my country for example in south africa i hear millions of your people i hear some are making an honest living and i feel for those and then there are some that are doing fraud human trafficking drugs and you want us to protect those people and unite as africans and protect those criminals even our own criminals we hold them accountable why should we treat you any special even our own criminals selling drugs we hold them accountable do introspection bazalwan hold each other accountable change your ways behave in other people's countries respect the law in other um, people's countries you cannot be fighting tribal wars in your country and you want to rule other people in their land and tell them this and that and this and that but you are failing in your own country your government is failing in your own country but you want to rule in somebody's land you want to dictate to them how they should run their country one thing about my south african people we love our country and we will always fight for our country we may have our differences we may have our issues we have our own wars that we are still dealing with as a country. But we are not cowards and we will never stop fighting for our country. That's why when our young boys get such opportunities, they would rather stay. Because that's us. RSA, no DNA. We love our country. For most South Africans, the dream is never to live overseas for greener pastures. We find them here. You know, we have shameless people that are in our land as we speak and they are tweeting nonsense about us. And then you ask them, if South Africa is so bad, why are you still here when you have your own land back home? Why are you still here? If your country is this good, why are you here? Because there's no way you can tweet all the rubbish you are tweeting on the internet, but you are here. I saw someone the other day because obviously I do get, you know, triggered when I see someone writing bad about my country, especially if it's something that is not true. This person is commenting nonsense about my country and saying, well, see, um, I'm giving South Africa 10 years, you will, they will see, they will rip this, they will rip that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to this person's profile, they stay in Jobik. And I'm like, the audacity. And you see these people saying, South Africans are landless, we have land in our country. And we're like, where is all this misinformation coming from? Is it from Twitter, from Google? Because simple land that you guys are saying you own back home. Let's say, okay, you guys own land back home. The village land, some land from the village, we, we can even buy it for 350 rands. Is that the land that you guys are always gloating about? Is that the land? You can't be saying you own land back home. We also own the same land in our villages. I mean, the people that always have big mouth, look at, their, look at the value of their um, currency. The people that always have big mouth when it comes to South African issues, look at the value of their currency.